everyone. I'm Angela Andrew. Today I'd like to share with you some inspiration on using Luminar Neo to create a composite image. A composite is any image where we've added multiple elements that didn't exist in the original. The image on the screen has a sky, we've added some birds and a texture, and a signature in the bottom right corner to create this lovely artistic painted look. Let's take a look at the before and then the after. Let's get started, I'll show you how I did it. All right, so we're here in Luminar Neo and I have this photo of a boat. The thing that caught my attention when I captured this image was the beautiful light that was just hitting the side of the boat and you could see it kissing the dunes behind it. Now, this image by itself is kind of boring. Let's make it more interesting. Let's start by cropping this image and improving the composition a little bit. I'm gonna go up to the Crop AI tool. We'll begin by giving this a bit of a rotation because it doesn't feel quite level. I think right about there it looks better. And then I wanna bring this in so the boat looks like it has somewhere to go. We've got a lot of negative space on the left and not as much space on the right. And that's the direction the boat is pointed. So I wanna make that a little bit more balanced because right now the composition doesn't feel quite right. I'm gonna go up to the ratio and choose a four by five aspect ratio and click this button here to make it a landscape orientation again. We'll pull in a little bit more from the bottom and move this over right about there. And now the boat is pretty centered. I wanna bring this up and have that bottom third line roughly at the horizon. There we go. And I think that is a much more pleasing composition. Let's go ahead and give this a little bit more of a rotation. Right about there. Looks good, I think. And I'll hit return on my keyboard to go ahead and commit that crop. Great, I'm much happier with that composition. Now we'll go to Enhance AI and pull up a bit of this accent just to improve the image overall a little bit. It's going to open up some of those shadows, pop the colors, just do a bit of overall improvement on the image. We'll also add a little bit of structure just to bring out some of those details. Right about there, I don't wanna to add too much because there's already quite a bit of choppy detail in the water and I don't wanna accentuate that too much. Now, when I look at this image, I love the light, but the sky, well, let's face it, is pretty boring. Luckily, we can fix that really easily with Numenar Neo and the Sky AI tool. One way of making a composite is to do a sky replacement. So we're gonna go down to Sky AI and drop in a new sky. I'll go to my sky selection menu and scroll down to the bottom. And this is a sky I had in my collection. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in there. And I really like this one because it matches the direction of the light really well. When you add a new sky, that's something you really need to pay attention to. And since we have light coming from behind me as the photographer and hitting the boat, hitting the dunes out here, we wanna make sure the light is hitting the clouds in a similar fashion. And I think this one does a really great job of, of matching what we have going on in the image. Now let's go down into our adjustments and I wanna go down to scene relighting. We've got some beautiful color up here in these clouds. So I'm gonna bring up the relight strength pretty high and you'll see how that's changing the quality of the light here in the foreground and matching some of those colors from the sky to the foreground. It just makes the whole scene come together a little bit more. Let's also bring up the relight saturation. That's great. And now on down to the reflection section. I'm gonna bring up that reflection amount quite a bit and not because we're really seeing the reflection in the water, but because it's bringing some of those colors more strongly into the water. And I also want to add some of this water blur because that water is so choppy. I think that makes it look a little bit better. That's looking really, really good. Let's add a touch of defocus just to take a little bit of the sharpness off of those clouds and a wee bit of atmospheric haze. And this is just going to make that look a bit more natural and soften the look of those clouds just a little bit. That's looking so much better. All right, from here, let's scroll back up and add a nice big soft vignette. And we'll pull the amount down all the way to the left to negative 100. We're gonna pull that size down all the way to zero. Bring the feather up for a nice smooth transition between the light and dark areas. And now we click on choose subject and move that center of the vignette so it's just over the boat. Now we can go back to the amount slider, move that back up to the right, to the point that this looks natural. And I think right about there is perfect. 
we can click on choose subject again to go ahead and close that out. And the final touch I want to make to our base layer is to add a bit of mystical. And this just adds something a little special. It softens some of the details, adds a bit of drama, and is going to move us in the direction of that painted look that we're trying to accomplish. So let me move that a bit to the right. And that looks really gorgeous. I'm also going to open up Colorize and warm up that glow a little bit more. All right, this is already looking beautiful. Let's take a look at how far we've come. There's the before and there's the after. So as I look at this image, the next element I think that is missing are some birds. A scene like this that's either early in the morning or late in the day feels like it should have some birds flying around, especially with a fishing boat. They're probably looking for their breakfast or their dinner. So let's add some. I'm going to go up to the Layers panel and click the plus button. And I already have some birds that I've entered into Luminar Neo. I'm going to go ahead and click those birds and bring those in. Now, what happens initially is it's taking my PNG file that I loaded and it's forcing it to fit the size of the image. So right now that's skewing them and kind of stretching things out in an unnatural way. I'm going to grab the bottom and pull that up until those birds look a little bit more natural. There we go. And then I'm going to move them up and over a bit, right about maybe there, and pull that opacity up to 100. Since this is a transparent PNG file, all you're seeing is the birds coming through. There's nothing else in that background to get in the way. So we can leave it just like so, and we don't need to change the blend modes or anything. I think that's a pretty good placement. I do want to soften the look a little bit by going down to our mystical again and adding a little bit of mystical to the birds. Now keep in mind, anytime you add a new layer, you can add any of the tools in Luminar Neo to that layer alone. So let's go ahead and bring up some mystical on those birds. I'm going to bring that up really high and you'll see that's just kind of adjusting some of those edges and softening things out and adjust those shadows a little bit and the smoothness. I'm going to pull that down a little bit to the left. And again, we can colorize these a little bit, add a bit more warmth. And there we have it. So I can close that up. And now we have our birds. Super, super simple. Now, I created these birds using Photoshop and an image from my archives. If you don't have Photoshop and you don't want to mess with that, just go to the web and do a quick search for free bird PNGs. You're going to find tons of ones out there that you can use and put to use in your own artwork. All right, so the next step I want to do here to create a beautiful painted look is to add a texture. Again, I'm going to go up to my layers, click that plus button and choose a texture that I've already found and brought into Luminar Neo. So on this one, this is not a transparent PNG. This is a JPEG image with no transparency. So if I bring this opacity all the way up to 100, it completely obscures my image. Now, I don't want to have it obscuring my entire image. I want my photo to come through but retain that texture. So I'm going to go into my blend modes and choose multiply. And look how that brings out that beautiful texture, but we still have the character of our image. I think that looks really, really good. Now keep in mind, you can use any of these tools in Luminar Neo to adjust that texture overlay. For this particular image, I'm going to go up to structure and I really want to bring out the detail of that canvas. So I'm going to move my amount slider all the way up to 100. That's a bit strong. Maybe back that off right about there. And I think that looks really good. It looks very much like a painting that you might see on somebody's wall, especially if it's at their beach house or something like that. It just has that same look and feel. Now, to finish this off, I'm gonna add my signature. Um, whenever I do a digital painting, something like this, especially if I wanna share it online, I'm gonna add my digital signature. You can create your own or have one created for you. They're pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna go up to the plus again and I've already loaded up my signature and we're going to pop this in here. And again, because it is shaping it to the four by five aspect ratio that we chose with this image, it's a little bit skewed. So I'm going to grab that top, pull that down a little bit. That looks a bit better. And then grab that upper left corner and drag it down. So it is in the bottom right. I can then adjust this, get it placed exactly where I want it. And I want it someplace that is not obtrusive. It's not going to detract from the image, but it is visible and does 
add my mark to this image. So there we go. Right about there looks great. I can go ahead and hit return on my keyboard and place that signature and this image is ready to go. Let's take a look here at the before and the after. This was a lot of fun to create and I'm really quite happy with how it turned out. I hope it gives you some inspiration on how to use layers and the other tools in Luminar Neo to create your own composite images. I'm Angela Andrew, and I'll see you next time.